she's even worse than my aunt. He treats me bad, like he loves bad. It was the day I remember the day that the guy was going back to her, and I tried telling her that she should help me when the guy is gone. And she told me, if she's my mom. Sometimes my aunt and my uncle goes out. Give me more work. At least sometimes say, um, Daddy, can we talk privately? Or excuse me, why didn't your daddy buy your phone? I asked him that on my own. The father said, He bought he me a phone. He bought it. Then my auntie took it and gave it to his, her first daughter and said, I can't hold a phone before her first daughter. And even with Okay, the first job, daughter is older than you. Yes. And even with her job and want to get married, I can't get married before first daughter. Jesus Christ. Wait, 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 they come on here from my head. Wait, the woman is even going as far as laying courses on you. Hi guys, it's your girl and courage your number one female where who they check nobody. Guys, let's start everything. Today we may have a Mibuka's daughter. Guys, um, something happened a few days back that I needed to personally take it upon myself to know if what um, the person said is true. Remember um, this woman, the elder brother's wife called me and said she wanted to see Ebuka. I went with Ebuka to go see her. When she came, she acted all good. She's nice. She has been nice. Ebuka has been nice to her. She has been everything to her family. Therefore, uh, Ebuka should be careful with the siblings and also forgive them. And that she has been also very nice to Princess. So I had to call Princess. I told her that I want to meet Princess alone. Let me talk with her, ask her a few questions. Regarding the lady, um, Princess, we met with your uncle's wife the other day, and she said that she has been a good person because the daddy has been nice to her. She has been nice to you. She has been caring. She do sometimes buy you clothes. She do stuff for you. And sometimes your aunt is always happy with that. So I'm asking you now. What she said, is it true or false? Or how has she been treating you? All she said was lies. Everything how? she said to me was lies. Like, she's even worse than my aunt. More worse than my aunt. How? Come to this end. How? He treats me bad. Like, he loves bad. It was the day, I remember the day that the guy was going back to her and I tried telling her that she should help me when the guy is gone. And she told me, if she's my mom. Sometimes like, my aunt and my uncle goes out, she gives me more work and she stopped me from going to school. And anytime I try telling her that education is the best, she will gather up a meeting with my aunt and my uncle, telling them that I've insulted her. Jesus Christ, Nazareth. Are you kidding me or something? Is this some kind of joke? The same woman that came and met us and acted all sent, all good, that she has been so nice because your father has been so nice to her, is the one that treated you badly as well. No, 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 that's unbelievable. It's, I can't believe it. Ah. So if she, she does that as well, she knows that you're a grown girl, you can speak. Why didn't she at least tell the truth? She because won't. she can't speak of herself, so why would she come and lie? She won't. She starts. I will be scared to say something. Um, okay, because of how they've been treating you. Yes. And just second, let me ask you another question. How comes all the times your father will call on the phone to check up on you? You never mentioned it to him that you are not being treated well. They are with me. Anytime I talk to my father, they are always with me. If I try talking, like saying the truth, maybe. During three days, four days, they will not give me food to eat. Jesus Christ, come now, Zara. Let me get this straight. Whenever your father is calling, you're they're always around. And probably yes. put the phone on loudspeaker. Yes. To hear what your father is saying and what you're saying. Yes. So why don't you at least sometimes say, um, Daddy, can we talk privately? Or excuse me, why didn't your daddy buy your phone? I asked him that on my own. The father said, He bought he me a phone. He bought it. Then my auntie took it and gave it to his her first daughter. And said, I can't hold a phone before her first daughter. And even okay, the first daughter is older than you. Yes. 
And if you are you a first child that she will come and say you get married, the first child will get married before you. Are you are you pulling competition? What kind of rubbish is that? Hey guys, this this um, this Ebuka's case is getting deeper and deeper and deeper by the day. That a woman like that, your father left you in a custody after they took you away from your mom, left you in a custody as her own blood sister that she will take good care of you. But rather, she is putting you through so much pains. How do you even cope? How do you how do you live? How, like, who are your friends? Who are the people you talk to? Because things like this affect children mentally. My class teacher went to her a day to tell her that she should stop letting me stay away from classes. Then she insulted my class teacher, almost pour hot water on her body. My she class teacher had to run away. Then she changed me from the school and told the other teachers at the school that they should never they come like to my house to say or report anything if they don't leave me after the school. Your class teacher confronted her. Yes. She walked the woman out of the house and told her not to even try this again or went to school and, and warned everybody. She went to the school. She boiled hot water. Like she went to make a bath for her husband. Like our, our children and yes. her husband. Then when my class teacher came to tell her, she went inside the kitchen to carry that hot water. I went to pour it on my class teacher. So she had to run away. My class teacher had to run away. The next day, she dragged me to school and told the principal that my class teacher came to insult her in the house. Then they had to serve me. Now. Hey, God in heaven. Why are people this wicked? Why are blood this mean? <sighs> you know what? Oh, Jesus, Father, have mercy. I'm gonna, I'll play the video to your father. Your father will see everything. So that as much as they'll try to come back, you know, he will have it at the back of his mind. Because when that lady came the other day, I saw a soft spot in him when he said, um, let me give her benefit of doubt. Give her benefit of doubt to do what exactly? To do what exactly? This benefit of doubt, what do you want to use and do? Say, so one give the woman a second chance. I mean, want to go and take care of the children. Don't worry. Everything they, they, they ever did to you, they will all pay for it. Except I'm not involved in this case. If all the treatment they've given to you. How can a, an aunt look into the niece, I, a child of this age, and tell her, my, you, my daughter will get married before you? <laughs> Don't worry. We'll sort it out. Just put yourself together. Thank God everything is fine now. You're with your father. And we'll see to it that everything works out well. And you could travel. No much stress. And they will now be seeing you flying in different colors. And that's her first daughter. Hey, <laughs> God. Don't worry. Guys, say this one. Guys, people have heard from, um, what Princess said. I will personally get to the root of this case. No matter what it will cost. You know, it will cost me past time and stress. But you, you see this case, I am into it and I will end it. Let me call your father. Let him right? Yeah. That's it, let's see. I'm waiting when this will be fine. Hi. People are mean. People are very, very mean. Oh no one. We start to finish. We know they start something, end them halfway. We start to finish. So, call the camera. Where is my khaki?